Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. Not motivated by money, but like, comments, and views. And today we're doing a review, or not a review, but a type of video that I've been wanting to do for a long time and not have an opportunity to do it. And that is a microphone shootout. Yes, we're going to do a cheap versus expensive microphone shootout but before we get into that if you can please subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification you can be updated when i do go live and drop new videos also follow me on instagram twitter and soundcloud at mr different tv so you can be following me and see when i do stuff like this and also check out mr different tv.com for the best kits on the web on the internet so why am i doing this video because you know i am a big advocate of that you don't need to spend a lot of money on you know to make good music uh to make good music pretty much and one thing I see a lot of people struggle with is vocals and getting the right vocal sounds and all that. And like I said, um, certain pieces of gear can give you different sounds depending on what you're doing, whether you're you know, recording something, guitars, blah, 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 interfaces, all that. And microphones are no exception. Cheaper microphones sometimes can be good, sometimes are bad. Just like expensive microphones sometimes can be good, sometimes are bad. So I want to show you guys the benefits of spending a good amount of money or you know maybe not spend a good amount of money because who knows maybe this test will show you that cheaper microphones can outperform expensive microphones or maybe it'll just show you that expensive microphones are just better because you know you're paying more so i mean you like i said you pay what you get for so we were taking a look at three different microphones we're taking a look at an akg p220 a c 214 by akg and also we're going to take a look at a nice neumann tln 103 so yeah we got a big boy here so right now you're hearing me through the AKG P220. This is one of my, I mean, I guess to say the longest microphone I ever used. Um, I bought this about two years ago when I was, uh, after I sold a lot of my stuff and wanted to reinvent my studio, make it a little bit smaller. So I decided to get this microphone. This microphone runs you about $90. I mean, $90, $100 used. Uh, brand new, I think it's still 150 bucks, which I don't understand that, you know, as it's an old microphone. But it's it's very good in this price in the in the price range of about a hundred bucks. You can't go wrong with this microphone or the AT twenty twenty. These two microphones, I recommend if you only have a budget of a hundred bucks for a microphone, definitely get one of these. I like this microphone a little bit better than the AT twenty twenty, but the AT twenty twenty definitely a good one. Um, as you see, it's a simple microphone. It has one po polar pattern, which is cardioid which all these microphones are just going to be called more vocal oriented microphones. It has a pad, I think a, I want to say 10 dB is a 20 dB pad on it. And it has a low roll off, which I think is about 80 Hertz. Um, right now you're hearing it going straight into my Apollo twin Thunderbolt. Um, no effects, no processing. This is the raw sound of this microphone. So you can hear that, um, you know, you be the judge of that. Like I said, cause you know, it's going to be different depending on your, the artist and all that, you know, for me, since I have a nice, sexy voice you know my voice sounds good on almost any microphone just saying yeah i'm feeling myself but now nah, but to be realistic you know i i know how to project my voice and i know how to talk in the microphones because i said i've been doing this for a while and you know i can make any mic sound good and i'm just using a regular pop screen um and yeah so you can hear the, the tone of the voice right now but i'll get into more extensive tests so this is you know test 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 one two three blah 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 but we'll get into more detailed tests later so let's go ahead and switch to the next microphone and you know so you can hear that microphone so let's do that right now and now we are back taking a listen to the akg c214 this is the newer mic i just bought recently um upgraded because you know this is a the baby i want i want to say the baby brother or the smaller but it's basically a smaller version of the 414 which is one of my favorite microphones i really want one of them hopefully that'll be the next microphone i get but this is just a stripped down version of it where it's a single uh, single polar pattern. Um, it's using, the, I think the, they say they're using the same capsule design, the same capsule. It just has a back plate on it. So that does give it a different sound to itself. But as you can hear, this is what it sounds like going raw into the Apollo. I do want to mention, I should have mentioned, but the P220 does come with a spider mount and a badass case. So dope. Same for this one. It comes with a shock mount. It comes with a little windscreen, which is I don't use. And it comes with um, a case, which is really dope. AKG is really dope about their flight cases. I do like that. But um, yeah, you can hear, like I said, this is the baby brother of the C414, which is an industry standard microphone. Um, I've seen it in a lot of studios and actually one of the studios I go to, they have two of them for drums or drum overheads. I see a lot of people use them for drum overheads, for vocals. They're great for rap vocals, all that kind of thing, voiceovers, whatever. It's a great mic and that it has multi pattern. But like I said, this one doesn't, this one only has a, a 10, I think it's either 10 or 20. This has a 20 DP pad as well, and it has a roll off about 160 hertz. Very smooth, gentle curve. You need to do that roll off. Like I said, this is 
flat sounding. I'm not doing no roll off just like the old other one. And it's going straight into my Apollo with no EQ, no compression, no special preamp, nothing. Like I said, what you're hearing right now is the raw sound. Overall, I like this microphone. Like I said, I picked this up. I really do like it. It has a different tone to it. Um, I feel like it's not as hyped as my P220 personally. Um, and it, it, it's a little bit smooth, I guess. And this one has like a more presence boost in the vocal area. So, you know, it's, it's, it was designed for vocals mainly. Like I said, any microphone is designed for vocals. Vocals Designed for vocals is, you know, just good. Now, this microphone runs you about 350 bucks um, new. Um, not It's not very expensive. Like I said, uh microphone I compared this to is the at 2020 the you know the row nt 18 and stuff like that it's around you know that kind of quality that kind of price um it is a you know a mid-range price microphone and you, you know it sounds different like i said you hear you be just for yourself like i said yo what's up everybody it's your boy slim aka mr different like i said you're hearing it raw no effects nothing like that no eq no nothing and yeah just going to a clean preamp which going straight into the apollo twin thunderbolt so, yeah, you know, I like the microphone. It sounds good to me, you know, but what do you guys think about it? Do it sound better? Do it sound worse? I don't know. It's up to you guys, like I said, because in the day, you know, this is really about you. So now that you got to hear the C214, let's go ahead and switch over to that badass Norman microphone, I guess, because I know that's what you guys really want to hear. So let's do that right now. And now we are back listening to the Neumann TLM 103. Yes, the 103. This microphone will run you about a thousand dollars. And like I said, it's Neumann, not Newman. Anybody who pronounces it Newman is a noob and they don't know what they're talking about. It's a German company, Neumann. That's how you pronounce it. So just want to put that out there. Anybody who can't pronounce it right, skip that video, dislike that video. Now I was planning on do that. But um, yeah, here it is. This is a thousand dollar microphone. So it runs you about a thousand dollars. You probably pick them up for like nine, maybe eight fifty, something like that. I don't know. But I know brand new, it's about $1,000. And like I said, it's a Norman microphone, which means it is the industry standard of quality, you know, because Norman microphones are well known for, you know, their quality and what they can produce. And you know, I say in every studio, you'll see something like a U87, a TLM 49, 103, um, the bigger brothers of them, you know, all them good microphones because, you know, they just been around forever. Norman made some of the greatest microphones of all time. And that's why they're industry standard. Um, and this is no exception. And uh, TLN 103 is, I think, like a cut down version of the 49, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there also is a TLN 102 and a 107. The 102 is about 600 bucks, and the 107 is about 1500. And this sits right in the middle of that 10, the 10 range or whatever. But as you can hear, it has a different quality. Um, it's very warm. This is this is really designed for vocals, just like the the 49. Um, has that nice presence boost. It has them, them deep lows that you know by Norman. Like I said, this is going straight into an Apollo interface, the twin, the Thunderbolt. No EQ, no nothing, same levels. And, you know, it just has a different sound for a lot of people who do voiceover work, a lot of rappers, singers, all this. This is the microphone that they they choose because, you know, it's, it's, you know, for one, it has that Norman badge. So if you are doing like a studio where you're recording people, you already got that kind of that, that Norman badge and that can bring in customers. When they see Norman, it just attracts people to it. Where the sound quality is better is up to you. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, me personally, I like it. It sounds really good. It's really dope. It's a really good microphone. I mean, it sounds great. I said, especially, let's say, once you EQ it, compress it, all that, it just fits in the mix so well. It's easy to mix these. Like I said, um, this this is a microphone. I, this is actually it from the other studio. It's not my not my microphone. I'm actually borrowing it. And like I said, when recording the artists over there, um, it works. I mean, it sounds really really good. I don't have to do much to their vocals, much EQing. I just throw on a preamp, um, and throw on some compression, and then I do slight stuff, slight processing, and the vocals always sit in the mix perfectly. They come out great. Um, and yeah, it just works. So, I mean, I don't know. Is a $1,000 microphone really worth it? Now, let's say I'm about to do some more tests, of course, because I don't want to just do me talking into the microphones without giving you some, like, you know, realistic test. Like I said, we're all realistic to it in a, a normal room with normal treating, so you can hear that. But now we're going to jump into different type of tests with it. I'm going to be doing some vocals, some voiceover work, and, you know, actually right down the hook probably so you can see what it sounds like in a mix. So let's go do that right now now so yeah here we are back in the daw now i'm in studio one and i recorded 
a little bit of a hook, something freestyle for you guys using all three microphones. I did a hook stack, auto tune stacks, and ad libs, auto tune ad libs to show you like a normal situation when it comes to recording. You know, in a in a regular sense. So you know, to really get to see the differences or hear the differences between the microphones. Like I said, I actually did a track because like I said hearing them solo, you'll be able to hear the differences pretty significant. But hearing them in the mix of a track, you shouldn't hear much of a difference or you might hear a difference. So, so what I want you to do, I will put a poll up in the top somewhere like over there somewhere. I want you to at the end of when I play all three of these, I want you to pick which one you think sounds the best. And then I'm going to reveal each one. Then I'm going to give you my final thoughts about this test and, you know, why. I don't know. I guess if it don't matter, do whatever. So, all right. So here's the beat. I'm going to play the beat real quick. All right, dope little beat. So now, let's listen to microphone number one. Which one could it be? Who knows? I don't know which one it is. Guess which one it is. So let's see what microphone number one sounds like. Is it different? Yeah. Oh, Y'all already know what it is. Your boy Slim. Yeah. Yeah. Let go. All I know, I'm getting to that paper. I ain't got no time for no hater All I know I'm getting to that paper I ain't wasting time on no hater I be getting to the paper I be getting to the paper I be getting to the paper I be getting to the paper, paper. paper. Alright, so What'd you think? Thought it was good? Which one you think it is? I mean who knows? Uh, we'll see, see. Go ahead and put your comments down, you think. Let's move on to microphone number two. Let's hear the same thing. Doing the same thing. Same effect, same process, and everything. Matter of fact, uh, everything's going through a Neve preamp. It's like a Neve emulation in the, in, the, uh, la, 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 in the Apollo. Also has an LA-2A compressor going into it. And then I'm doing the same process on all of them, the same preset, the same settings on all three of them, on all of them. Every last one of them. There's no differences between them. The same preset on each one. I just try to gain stage and all this. They, they sound all even throughout. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Everything is the exact same on all of these. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Your boy Slim. Mr. Different. Let go. I know I'm getting to this paper. I ain't wasting time on no hater. All I know I'm getting to this paper. I ain't wasting time on no hater. I be getting to this paper. 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 Now, I do want to keep in mind, like I said, what you think about that? That sound good? I don't know which one you think that could be. Could it be the cheap one? Could it be the expensive one? Could it be this one? I don't know. Um, do keep in mind that, yeah, I know all the takes aren't exactly the same. I didn't have multiple micro microphones set up and all that. Sorry, but I try to keep it as consistent as possible, like I said. But it really doesn't matter, like I said. We'll listen to which one sounds better in the mix in a whole. That's what we'll listen to. So keep that in mind when listening and choosing between which one you like. Now, Let's move on to microphone number three. Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah, boy Slim. Yeah, yeah. AKA Mr. Different. Yeah. yeah, yeah Let go. Let's get it. Hey. All I know, I'm getting to this paper. I ain't wasting time on no hater. All I know, I'm getting to the paper. I ain't wasting time on no haters. I be getting to the paper. 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 So, what you think about that one? You think that was good? So if you can right now, vote on which one you think is the best sounding one to you. Microphone one, microphone two, or microphone three. And it says a poll right there. Please go ahead and, yeah, do it. Fucking do it. But anyway, I'll play them back real quick, and we'll switch between them real fast, and then I will reveal which is which. So 
Let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and just switch between them real quick. All I know, I'm getting to that paper. I ain't wasting time on no hater. All I know, I'm getting to that paper. I ain't wasting time on no hater. I be getting to the paper. I be getting to this paper. I be getting to the paper. I be getting to the so, you know, let's even mute the beat so we can. All I know, I'm getting to that paper. I ain't got no time for no hater. All I know, I'm getting to this paper. I ain't wasting time on no hater. I be getting to the paper. I be getting to the paper. Now you can see without the beat, you know, they really sound kind of similar, but yeah, I mean, they do have their differences. So I hope you all voted. Please tell me you voted because I'm about to reveal it right now. Drum roll, please. Microphone number one was, yes, the TLM 103. So microphone number one was the TLM 103 by Neumann. So if you chose microphone number one for your favorite, for the one that sounded the best, then you like, you know, the Neumann, I guess. Now, drum roll, please. Microphone number two was the AKG P220. Yes, that was the $100 microphone right there as microphone two. So obviously, the process of elimination. Microphone number three was the C214. Now, here it is. Now, here's this thing. Like, Let's listen to them once again. Let's go to the 103. All I know, I'm getting to that paper. I ain't got no time for no hater. Now is this to the P220? All I know, I'm getting to this paper. I ain't wasting time on no hater. Okay, and then last but not least, the C214. All I know, I'm getting to this paper. I ain't wasting time on no hater. All I know. So, obviously, I will say this. I will admit that the last one does sound slightly different. I recorded slightly different. Slightly, you know, but it's not the point. It's the point of, did it sound good in the mix? And that's what really matters with this type of uh, thing right here. So, here are my final thoughts, and here what I think. Me, personally, all three of these microphones sound good, regardless on price range, regardless on, you know, what you're doing. When you put it in the context of a beat, a song with different effects, different processing. Really, you can't really tell the difference. Honestly, there's no like normal people are not gonna go like, oh my god, he recorded with the Neumann or he recorded with a cheap Honda microphone or whatever. They're not gonna know that because, like I said, I use the exact same as you can see, the exact same processing on every channel: Fab Filter, uh, Deesser, Weiss EQ, Compressor, and another EQ, and then everything had Vintage Reverb, and then the Atlas had Delay on them. As you can see, they're all the exact same. I pretty much just copied presets over from each other. So they're all the exact same preset, nothing different. I recorded from about the same length, so I did about right here. So about the exact same length uh, from the microphone, so they all had the same exact tone. And I also had the high-pass filter engaged. And also in my recording channel, I had the Neve preamp for my UAD uh, interface. And also I had the... 1170, uh, not 1170, the LA-2-way model also for, as a compressor to kind of control my vocals. So they're all using this exact same chain, and I'm even talking to it right now so you can hear it right now. This is the chain I'm using, as you see. So, yeah, um, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter which one you buy. If your budget is 100 bucks, get it. If you can afford a $1,000 microphone, get it. Yes, they will have different applications. Yes, they will have different tones. But the main thing is in when you're actually mixing it into a beat and actually processing it in different ways, adding effects and all that and building tracks on top of tracks, it just kind of, it, it, the, the gap between them shrinks a lot. Like, yeah, solo, they sound completely different. Solo and unprocessed, they sound completely different. And yes, one sounds better than the other like that. But when you're in the mix process and actually going through whatever your beats and all that, and however it is, 
the gap just closes so much to where you honestly can't tell which is which. And it really just boils down to what sounds good to you and if you can make it sound good. Because, like I said, the P220 honestly was going blow for blow with the Neumann. And you know, my C my C two fourteen just had a different tone to it. It just had a uh it had less high frequency and stuff like that. It had a, a different tone to it as itself. Is it bad? No. Is it good? Yeah. I mean, all microphones are good if you know how to use them. So just keep that in mind when person and start watching these videos when people do like these solo comparisons because that's a bad way to judge a microphone. You really have to hear it in a mix. And I suggest if you can go to like a guitar center or something like that, get a microphone take it home buy if you get a microphone buy it take it home use it for i think they do like 45 days and see if it's something you like if it works for you if it don't take it back and get something else like don't just go off these reviews and all that because like i said in the, the day it doesn't matter cheap or expensive it don't matter they all had their benefits yeah but at the same time in the midst of a mix it doesn't really matter what you have as long as you know how to work it that's just my two cents. That's my opinion. Um, let me got let me know what you guys think. Which one did you enjoy the most? What microphone are you using right now? You got a certain microphone. I want to know what you guys are using and you know uh, your setup and I was like, you know, just kind of let me know. And also, like I said, please tell me which one you thought sounded the best up there. I mean, Paul, come on, do that. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing this and hopefully I can do more stuff like this in the future comparison stuff because I know I like doing it in a special type of way because you know me. So y'all know who it is. It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Miss Different, not motivated by the money, but like, comment, subscribe, and views. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.